there will be a group of Arabs from within the Jazeera Al Arabiya, from within the Arabian Peninsula, somewhere near Mecca. They will hear about the Mahdi and they will not agree with him. They, they, they'll say he is not the real one. And they will come from an eastern direction of Mecca, they'll come in with an army to, to, to fight Al Mahdi. So the first people Al Mahdi will fight are Arabs who are under the banner of Islam that they've erred, gone wrong. As they are approaching, a group of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the earth swallow them. They all die. And a group of them fight him and Al-Mahdi destroys them all. Prophet ﷺ said he will fight offsprings of two Khalifas. And we've had many Khalifas in the past. We've had the Ottoman Empire, we've had the Abbasi, the Fatimi, we've had the Umawi Khilafah, we have many different. And when he says the offsprings, meaning of them. Allahu ala which ones exactly? But the first ones are Arabs. Allahu ala, they could be of the Abbasi or the Umawi ones. And, and he said he will wipe them off. So the first of the Arabs. And the companions asked, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what if among those Muslims who fight him are proper Muslims, but they've just erred and they die within that battle like that? What's going to happen to them? Rasul said, every one of them will be gathered on the day of judgment on the intentions they died for. On the intentions they died for. Even if they were the wrong army. Next after that, so that's, the, that's one of the first major signs of Al-Mahdi. The other signs of Al-Mahdi, Rasul said, he will turn and fight an army that will also prepare an army against him in Al-Furs, Bilad Al-Furs, in Persia. Persia those days, today is known as Iran. Whether it will still be Iran that time or not, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. But Rasul told us in the Sahih Muslim that they will be an army from Al-Furs, will also prepare themselves to fight Al-Mahdi. He said he also wipes them off meaning he destroys them. They have no more power. He disarms them. They no longer have any authority or ability. That's the second army. That's the second sign. Now here's the biggest sign. Then he said, he will fight the Romans. Ar-Rum. In those days, Ar-Rum are different, or are, had a different name to what we have today. It's a bit difficult to pinpoint them. But our scholars tell us, point towards the Europeans, Europeans in general. And Ar-Rum, who are the Byzantines then, are today, today the offsprings are mostly the Europeans and their branches. How would this fight be? Well, the Europeans or the Romans, they will prepare themselves against this army. Because the Mahdi will come out with such force and authority and power to fill the world with the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can already see now how the fight against the Sharia is happening. So imagine someone coming to represent them with power and authority. What are they going to do to him? They're going to fight him. Before that happens, however, in some time, and I'm not sure which time that's going to be. Scholars have differed about it. Rasul told us to salihun al rum You will unite alongside partnership with the Romans. Again, the Europeans. You're going to be partnership with them. وَتُقَاتِلُونَ عَدُوًّا مِّنْ وَرَائِهِمْ You're going to fight an army of theirs, of theirs, of the Romans. So the Muslims will unite with the Europeans to help them fight against an enemy that's theirs, that's the Europeans' enemy, the, the Romans' enemy. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi told us, عَدُوًّا مِّنْ وَرَائِهِمْ An enemy that is theirs, but will help them against them. Has that happened yet? Was it in World War I? Allahu A'lam. Is it yet to happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Is it happening now? Some scholars said it's still it's happening now. Helping them. Allahu alam. In what way? After that happens, and you will be victorious, he said on this hill that the, a Christian will hold the cross and he will say the cross is victorious. And a Muslim will be angry about that because we would have been partnerships with them. Why are you now separating and dividing? He'll break the cross. They have a fight, the Muslim kills the Christian, the group of Christians gather against the Muslim, kill him, and the war erupts, slowly erupts. So the cross will be raised, risen, and it will be a war of religions, mainly, mainly Islam, Christianity, Judaism. That's what our Prophet told us. 
with a little note over here so no one misunderstands me. It doesn't mean that the Prophet is telling us, go and fight the Christians and Jews now, your neighbor. No, no, no. Islam is a religion of peace and we don't fight people unless they fight us. But this is a fact. The Prophet is telling us what Allah told him that this is what's going to happen in the future. This fight then erupts and a war between the Romans and the Muslims will happen. Romans in those days, Ar-Rum al-Muslimin, yani between the Salibiyin, the Crusaders, the Christians and the Muslims. Rasulullah SAW called them the Salibiyun, the, the, the cross worshippers and the Muslims will be a fight between them.